Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to add classes based on if a user is logged in or not logged in using MemberStack. Hack 31 to 36 is focused exclusively on hacks with MemberStack. In this one, we are essentially creating our own member stack data attributes, and we are going to add classes to elements based on a user's logged in status. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example, and we have a member stack form on the page. We also have two sets of buttons. Based on if we're logged in or not logged in, we're going to be adding classes to these buttons. We have the description right here. We're going to add a class for a user who is not logged in. And then we're gonna add a class for a user who is logged in. And you can see we are not logged in. We have our you are logged out text. We have not created an account yet. We are not users yet. So we are going to add a class to this second button, which is happening perfectly. And when we go and create an account, we are going to be logged in this button is going to change its style back to its normal position, and then this button is going to turn to green. Okay, so let's go and enter some test information here, and let's sign up. And now we're users. Great, so now we're gonna be signed in, and look what happened, we now have the second button in this section is green, and now this button is back to its normal state. So a non-logged in user gets the class added here. The logged in user gets the class added here. You may be thinking, what is this for? What's the use case for this? Let's jump into Lottie Flow and see how we are using this live on the site. We're on LottieFlow.com and we're looking at our live implementation of this add class. We are only adding a class to this page if the user's not logged in. You can see I'm not logged in here. It's asking me to log in or sign up and I have these classes added to these elements because I'm not logged in. The classes are a reduce in opacity, a reduce in opacity, and pointer events none. So instead of creating duplicates of these elements and only showing and not showing when logged in, we are showing the exact same elements that you would get when you're logged in. We are just not allowing the user to interact with it and we are reducing the opacity to show it's not accessible until you make an account. And that is how you can use this live on your site, and instead of hiding and showing different elements, you can simply apply a different style. It can work for a lot of different situations. We're in Designer, and we have our add-on classes styled. We have our data attributes on our elements, and we are going to tell MemberStack which elements need classes based on the login status. First, let's go over these add-on classes. We have an add-on class on our hack button base class, and this is going to create the not logged in style and the logged in style. Here we have this very not logged in feel with the gray text and the, the gray background. And here we have a different class, button logged, which is giving it a green background and white text. This is more of a logged in success type feeling. Great. And now we need to tell these buttons to get the class that we applied to here and this button to get the class that we applied to here. So we're going to do that with data attributes. These are custom attributes that we created for member stack. Our custom code is going to do all the work applying the classes. And you can see we have a custom attribute with a name of MS no user add class. The value is going to be the class name that we want to add to it. So this is saying, if the user is not logged in, we're going to add a class to this element, and this is the class name. Please be mindful that we are not using the period here. This is not needed 
for this to work. And if you do use it, it's not going to work. So just like this, when the user's not logged in, it's getting this class. And the same setup for logged in with a different data attribute. Again, here we have MS no user add class. Here, we're going to have MS user add class. And this is saying when the user is logged in, we're going to go and add this class, hack31 button logged. Nice. And another cool thing that we are doing, which was seen on lottieflow.com, is applying the pointer events none. You can see we have this add on class hack31 button not logged. Inside of our custom code in the head, we are going to add an additional style to this. Our hack31 button not logged is going to have a pointer events of none. And that means when the user is not logged in, this button is going to be grayed out. Sometimes it makes sense to hide your elements and have a duplicate version for the logged in user. Sometimes this add class makes more sense depending on your setup and if the user should or should not access this button. All right, that's it for structure. Let's get into custom code and see how these data attributes work. Let's break this code down line by line. We are inside the head tag for this hack. We don't have anything inside the body. The reason we are using the head is because we're adding classes to the page. We want this to happen as soon as possible. We don't wanna wait another 0 0.3, 0 0.5, one second, whatever, that extra time for the rest of the page to load and then add the classes. So it's in the head for super speed. First, we're going to add our member stack script. Please make sure that this is your script. Do not just copy and paste from this. It's not going to work. You need your own member stack account. We have our style, which we talked about inside structure. Now let's get into the script. This is going to happen when the DOM is ready. We are going to make sure member stack is ready. And then we're going to run a function that is an if statement. If the member is logged in, we are going to get all the elements with this data attribute. This is our MS user add class. So they're logged in. We're going to look for this data attribute. And for each of the elements that has that data attribute, we're going to run a function. And that function is going to add the value of the data attribute as a class. So we are adding a class. And that class is the value of the data attribute. And that is exactly what we just set up inside structure. Else, that is the user is not logged in. They are logged out. They do not have an account yet. We are going to jump to the else. So we're going to skip through all this, not logged in, and go right to else. And it's going to be the same process, but looking for the other data attribute. And we're going to say for all elements on the page with the MS no user add class, we're going to run a function for each of them. And we're going to add a class of the value of that data attribute. So it's the same thing we did above. We're just looking for our other data attribute. This one's looking for user. This one's looking for no user. Nice. And that's it. This last line is just specific to this hack. It is a redirect. Don't worry about it. You can delete it. Creating a data attribute inside member stack to add classes is really this simple. Have fun with this one, add classes, and enjoy using member stack. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.